but critics also call it a costly failure. CNN has obtained an internal army report which lists a number of striker shortcomings. Our senior Pentagon correspondent, Jamie McIntyre, has the story. Move it, hurry! The Army's newest armored personnel carrier, the Stryker, is under fire. Not just from insurgents in Iraq, but also from critics at home, who argue the 19-ton wheeled fighting vehicle is too heavy to be flown anywhere quickly, too vulnerable to heavy attack, and at almost $2 million a copy, too expensive compared to alternatives like the old M113 Gavin tracked vehicle. It's enormous in size, uh, which is unavoidable with wheeled chassis, and it doesn't bring significant firepower, uh, armored protection or mobility to the fight. But the striker remains the linchpin of U.S. Army plans to convert to a lighter, more agile force. For Iraq, the strikers had to be outfitted with a birdcage of slat armor designed to cause rocket-propelled grenades to detonate prematurely. An internal report from the Center for Army Lessons Learned, obtained by CNN, concludes that while soldiers were told the slat armor would protect them against 8 out of 11 strikes, in fact, soldiers say it's only effective against half of the RPG attacks. Meanwhile, the extra armor adds 3 feet in width and 3 tons in weight to the striker which critics argue makes it anything but nimble. Initially people build the striker as this uh, wonder weapon of the 21st century that would allow you to drive up and down the roads at 60 miles per hour. If you do that, you risk turning over and killing everybody in it. The Lessons Learned report also details dozens of needed modifications. Everything from re-engineering the tire inflation system to handle the extra weight to adding air conditioning for the high-tech electronics. The commander of one striker battalion insists the changes will simply make a great vehicle better. I'm confident that uh, 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 these are not flawed. Uh, these are not flawed. Uh, these are not flawed. Uh, these are not flaws. In fact, they're improvements. The striker may not be the death trap its critics claim, but it's not a magic bullet either. Iraq has many in the army rethinking the idea that lighter armor is better suited to urban combat. In fact, the commander of the 1st Cavalry Division, which lost 28 main battle tanks in Iraq, says the lesson he learned is the heavier the armor, the better. Jamie McIntyre, CNN, the Pentagon.